you hear the chainsaw in the background? I was kind of waiting for it to die down, but couldn't wait forever. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Uh, today is actually 4th of July as of the filming of this video. So I am taking advantage of the holiday to kind of a chill day off and uh, get caught up on some administrative tasks around the apartment and whatnot. Those of you here in the States, I hope you had a lovely 4th of July. Um, but yeah, uh, so no Costco haul today. Costco is obviously closed. Uh, the employees definitely deserve a day off. Uh, but I do have a Fabletics haul for you guys, and Fabletics is actually sponsoring today's video. Uh, but you, you know I'm a huge fan of Fabletics. I get all of my active wear on Fabletics if you're not familiar with them. They are kind of a one-stop shop for all of your fitness, athleisure needs. They've got great leggings, shorts, tank tops, sports bras, socks for athletics, and the quality is, is top-notch. I have my very first pair of Fabletics leggings and they look brand new and I wear them on a weekly basis. They hold up in the wash, they hold up in the dryer and they, are, they never become sheer and they never become loose or saggy and they are just so flattering. Uh, they really accentuate all the right parts of your body and uh, kind of hold things in, in place for comfort, for support. All right, I think the chainsaw finally died down. Chainsaw is never a good Never a good sound effect to have in the background of a vlog. It just doesn't, it just doesn't put out good vibes. Especially if you're a Texas vlogger, uh, you know, something about Texas and chainsaw. There's a little bit of a stigma with a massacre. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't have a body farm out there on the patio. My tomato plant is looking good though. I tried to take you guys out there earlier today, uh, early this morning, but it was so it's so steamy out that you guys fogged up, so I bailed on that. But I don't know if you can see through the window here. I got these pretty little uh, plant pokes. Oh, you can't really see. One is a dragonfly, and then one is like a ladybug. They're really pretty. And my eggplant update. You can see my eggplant. Look at those leaves. That I don't know if you remember my last plant update. The little tiny, the leaves had gotten, were all crushed from a rainstorm and I um, picked off the dead leaves and now we've already got new leaves sprouting and the tomato plant's looking healthy. So yeah, they're doing, they're going strong and now they have some bling bling out there. Oh yeah, and my little fungi balls are still, are still buoyant and happy. I just took the lid off because I'm using it as a makeshift tripod for you guys so you can see my face because otherwise my head gets cut off and it's just you know, kind of weird. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, Fabletics. Um, really amazing quality. I, I cannot get over how, how well they are constructed, the leggings, the shorts, the activewear, everything holds up incredibly well. And the price is so competitive. With the VIP membership, you get even, even more of a discount. If you're not familiar with their VIP plan, I totally recommend doing that. That's what I do. There's no there's no contractual obligation. You can cancel at any time. It's pretty easy to cancel. Uh, but basically what that entails is each month you get like this kind of custom curated catalog of uh, pieces just for you to your size, kind of tailored to what you like and the type of activewear that you are interested in. And uh, so you can go in there and pick and choose. And with the VIP membership, you get like up to 60% off of their prices. So it's really affordable. And all you have to do is if you're not interested in buying athletic wear that particular month, you just go in, I think it's the fifth of the month and say, no thanks and skip it. So, so yeah, I can't, you know, I get tempted sometimes to buy expensive activewear, but seriously, what's that brand outdoor voices? Their leggings are like $95. That's a lot of money for a pair of tights basically. Um, and the, the Fabletics one, Fabletics leggings, they, they look amazing. I mean, they do something to the shape of your legs that just really lifts everything and holds everything, gives really good support. So yeah, check the link in the description box. First two pairs of leggings for 24 bucks. Later on, I'll show you guys my active wear try on haul. But skincare update for you guys. I um, love Dermatology SPF 45 uh, sunscreen. That's what I've been wearing on my face. Um, but I've been trying out their new to me universal tint SPF 46. 
I really like this. It is a little different than the light here. Let me show it so you guys can see. It's kind of got a flash going on. I like it a little better uh, than their um, tinted moisturizer, the light tint. This one is different than that because this has zinc oxide, whereas that one had titanium dioxide, no zinc. So that one is titanium dioxide and a few chemical filters. This one is zinc oxide and octene oxide. Um, so this um, I like a little better. I prefer the zinc to the titanium dioxide. Zinc does a little bit better of a job in terms of giving more broad spectrum UVA protection than titanium dioxide. And titanium dioxide kind of has that white flash to it. Um, that particular sunscreen though, the, their light tint one, I thought looked really good on my skin and I really liked it. But this I think I like better because of the zinc swap and I just, I don't know, it looks really natural on. It's not um, streaky or chalky. The, this however does not really give any kind of coverage as far as masking hyperpigmentation. The product that does that, the product that will cover up some discoloration on your face pretty well and not perfectly it'll you know you can still see it but it does a nice nice job uh, just kind of giving a little bit of cosmetic camouflage is the color science mineral shield that gives some good cosmetic camouflaging coverage um, that this doesn't this is more this is more sheer like you can definitely definitely see underneath but it's really nice and very comfortable to wear anyways um i think i'm gonna go make some non-dairy milk in my nut milk maker the soy bella i soaked overnight some walnuts uh an eighth of a cup of walnuts and an eighth of a cup of raw cashews unsalted. I just did a mambo combo. So I'm going to do a cashew walnut milk this morning in my soy bella. You don't have to soak the nuts uh, in the soy bella side note, but the instructions suggest doing that to enhance the nutritive benefit, the, the nutrition. So I soaked them, uh, mostly so I would have them aliquoted to save myself some time this morning, but that's what I'm going to go do. Oh, the chainsaw starts. Oh, update on these popsicle molds that I got at Co um, not Costco, Target, the Koji ones, do not recommend. Maybe it's just me, but I've had terrible luck with these so far. I've tried them a few times and they leak terribly when you're eating the popsicle. As the popsicle melts, a bunch of the popsicle, you know, will melt and pool here in this little reservoir and then all of a sudden spill out over your lap and make a huge mess. Yeah, I made some popsicles with the True Lime watermelon flavor that I like so much and thought that that was gonna be a nice cooling treat. No, it was just a mess. <laughs> so these are terrible. I don't recommend them at all. But they do wash up pretty nicely in the, in the, uh, What's that machine that washes things? Dishwasher. That's the word. Yeah, Koji. Dern. 
try on haul time. First up, I got a Cynthia Racerback tank in this kind of ballet pink color. You know, I'm rather fond of that. And this particular tank is nice because it got a little bit of extra fabric in the front. So you can tuck it in and kind of give it a slouchy look if you want, or you can wear it out and it'll really give some nice additional coverage if you want more coverage in the back or the front. It has a nice mesh perimeter around the uh, top half of the tank, which kind of gives a flirty little detail that I like. These are some of my favorite pants from Fabletics, the Maj Pant 2. They are really comfortable to wear, particularly in days like this where I end up wearing athleisure all day and then just going straight to the gym and whatever I'm wearing. They transition really nicely. You can adjust the length of the pant leg to make them more of a capri if you like, or more of a jogger. And then they have this really comfortable high waist high waistband that you can roll over very nice roomy pockets these are just very flattering and very comfortable to wear um, they're some of my favorite pants one of the other things that I love about Fabletics is a lot of their pieces pieces have UPF 50 in the fabric so they're sun protective I got some capri leggings here with again kind of a nice cute band that can be high-waisted and then you can also fold it over. I like the pattern on this. It's kind of a mosaic tile look. Okay, did you guys happen to notice when I was making the non-dairy milk, the commercial playing on YouTube in the background? That guy is like my spirit animal. He's making chili. Probably the best YouTube commercial I have ever come across. He must be a YouTuber with his own cooking channel, but what an enthusiastic guy. He's rather soothing to listen to. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, these particular Capri leggings are just like any Fabletics leggings. Amazing quality and the uh, fabric, you guys. No matter how many times you put this in the dryer, it never become see-through so if you're a squatter don't worry your your um your skin's not going to show through and the leggings don't creep and crease if you know what i mean in the frontal area so they remain flattering all right it is air conditioning season so that means hot on the outside and frigid cold indoors which requires some pullovers i got this cute gray pullover this reminds me of something you might I don't know, skip about in around Nantucket area, Martha's Vineyard on the yacht. Ha ha ha. It looks comfortable for being at the beach, actually. It's nice and lightweight, but gives you some, you know, coverage for chilliness. It's got a nice hood. And yeah, I have a thing with hoods. I like to put them up when I'm, I like to wear a hood when I'm like working on the computer. I feel it improves my focus. I think that's all psychologic though. <laughs> there have been no studies on hood, hood wearing and uh, cognitive ability, but I swear mine, mine improves with, with wearing a hood. This also has some nice pockets in the front. And then I got this Brisa pullover. I actually have one of these in black, but I got one in white for the summer. Uh, so to kind of get me away from the funeral garb I always wear and uh, these are great for pulling over just as the name implies and I like that the neck and hood is not too uh, restrictive really comfortable and kind of loosey-goosey so it's easy to put the hood on without choking yourself hey guys what's up it is evening time and I'm gonna get started making one of my crock pot meals I'll just talk to you guys from here um, one of my crock pot meals I'm about to get started on and while it cooks and, and bubbles, I will go to the gimnasio. I'm doing a little, a little froggy plie squat here. This time of day I get a little kooky. Uh, I like my brain is saturated and I need to, I need to have some free time, recess, aka go to the gym. But uh, before I get started throwing together my dinner, I wanted to share with you guys a food update. You'll recall I purchased this no cow bar at Kroger this week because it was on Ibotta. Ibotta is the grocery rebate app that I use to get cash back on purchases from Kroger and Costco. Anyways, uh, I was intrigued to try this. I'm not really a protein bar kind of gal. Uh, but update, this, um, is not good <laughs> uh i i ate it and choked it down but it's not something i would dine on on a regular basis consistency and appearance wise it looks like something you would find in the diaper of a eight month old uh it was a little off-putting so if you are at all put off by textures this is not for you 
Um, the taste, this is the lemon meringue pie flavor. The taste was okay. It did not taste like lemon meringue pie, although it, I don't think I've ever actually had lemon meringue pie before. So I'm not the best judge of that character, but uh, it did have a lemony taste, maybe akin to licking a lemon air freshener. <laughs> Uh, I'm exaggerating. It was it was a little citrusy, but um, not too not too authentic, but not too repulsive. Kind of somewhere somewhere in the middle as far as lemon taste. But the consistency was pretty soft, and so much so that I think if you were eating this on the go, like in the car, it would break apart in your hands and you'd be frustrated with it. It was a little goopy. That being said, it is it is pretty hot and steamy here, so maybe the temperature is not ideal for the no cow bar. This does come from Denver, Colorado, the mi Colorado, the mile high city, um, where I used to reside. Oh my God, somebody's knocking on the door. All right, so I ordered some stuff off of iHerb that came and I thought I would share it with you guys. I always order my kelp noodles on iHerb. I love these and uh, they're really good this time of year. They're expensive but on iHerb they're a much better deal and they kind of get you with the more you buy the more you save since i like them so much i tend to stock up and iHerb also has a ton of like household items i get my hand soap on iHerb for example this attitude brand has a fragrance free hand soap that i really like and so i wanted to try their window and mirror glass cleaner. It's citrus zest, worry-free ingredients. Yeah, this is a cruelty-free brand from Canada that I really love. They have a very nice shampoo that I, I need to buy the shampoo again. I forgot, I, I kind of forgot about it and I really like it. So yeah, the shampoo's good. Um, they also have Mrs. Meyers products and I purchased this for my mom a while ago for Mother's Day actually. And I just love the lavender scent of the surface cleaner. So I'm almost out of my granite, um, counter wipe stuff and I got this as well. I haven't had mulberries in a while and the Terrasol brand of mulberries is quite good from iHerb. I recommend them. These are kind of like a cross between a fig and a raisin. Um, I shared this in my grocery haul this week how much I love shirataki noodles and I get them on iHerb. Here I got um, iHerb has this brand Miracle Noodle that's pretty good. Um, they, I got the angel hair, the fettuccine, and the rice. Uh, and if you've never had this before, it's made with uh, konjac flour. And so it's just like a low calorie, low carbohydrate <laughs> thing shaped like pasta. You either like these or you don't. I happen to love them and I really like them in, uh, like soups, they kind of, the longer you cook them, like in a slow cooker, the better they are. Then I thought I would try these, Beyond Fresh. I've had this Beyond Fresh brand of things before and was rather pleased. These are little on the go beverage sticks. This carrot zinger sounded good. It's carrot, apple, and ginger. Uh, one stick is 15 calories uh, and five grams of carbohydrate. It's kind of like an instant, uh, press juice and then I think I'm definitely gonna like this because I love spicy lemonade flavor you know lemon and cayenne uh, so this is the spicy lemonade flavor and it too has 15 grams of 15 calories and four grams of carbohydrate so I thought that would be good they're sweetened with stevia and then I um I did Love this California Gold Nutrition Plant Protein. If you guys have ever had it, it's really good. Um, and I currently have the vanilla flavor and that's what I've been using in my smoothies. And I wanted to try the chocolate and they were having a sale. So I decided to get the chocolate and try the cinnamon bun flavor as well. But it's like a mix of brown rice protein, pea protein, uh, flaxseed prep powder, and it's sweetened with stevia. I, I really have been happy with this protein powder, so I figured I'd try the chocolate and cinnamon bun since I've never had those flavors. And I'm really into putting these Wilderness Poets jazzy uh, powders into my smoothies because they give things such a vibrant color. So I got more of the dragon fruit powder, and then uh, I also got some dried dragon fruit uh, slices to put on my smoothies as well. So yeah, I was buying these at Costco a while ago. The Volupta brand had them, and they stopped carrying them, so I saw that I had that and I was like I need to get that uh, but they don't have any added sugar. Mm -hmm.
delicious. So this kind of is a good replacement for me. I got some fat mozzarella cheese. I got some olives, a bunch of these nut thins again, these cheddar cheese flavor and the salt. They're so good. They're so good. I think we still have them. I got kale chips, cool ranch. These are okay. They're okay. And then I got the mango chili lime harvest snack things. I haven't had this flavor, but when I normally eat these, maybe watermelon because I can't control myself around watermelon, so I just bought it for the kids. Go back to the kids. And this is my first time ever buying LaCroix. I don't like sparkling anything, but these don't have like sweeteners or sugar or anything like that in them. No, take the whole thing over there and then put it in there. Should I have Carry it from here, babe. Can I have one? Yeah, we'll share one. Okay. Yeah. Then I got some cottage cheese. I actually really, 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 really like cottage cheese, but I only ever, like, I just don't eat it that often. But I really like it. Growing up, I used to eat a gross amount of cottage cheese. It was so good. Fake food. I don't know how to describe it, but I grabbed two of those. Some turkey pepperoni. I have one of these in the fridge. I dropped yogurt. And I got three of these Javali cold brews. The caramel ones are the best ones by far, in my opinion. I think that you'll find in the refrigerator section. These are on the table. Usually on the top shelf. All right, yeah, it's better when I'm making the vegetable, but I like to use avocado spray. I feel like they get less, like, herb. Some of this bacon stuff, so I would do um, shakes of PB2 because it doesn't have... Um, all right, so I just threw together my dinner. This is what I typically have pretty much every night, some rendition of this. Uh, tonight, the protein in this is tofu. I vary out the protein. Sometimes I have legumes. Uh, other times I have lentils, which I guess are technically legumes. And uh, yeah, tofu, those are kind of my main protein sources. And so I've got that in there, and then I have one parsnip, I have one chayote squash, I have some white onion, and I have a uh, savoy cabbage. So I chop all that up, throw it in there along with two cups of water, and then I put in, um, I've been flavoring it with this mushroom and seaweed blend by Gero Formula. I got this a while ago on iHerb. Uh, and it's basically a miso soup mix. It's really good. If you like miso soup, I recommend this. It's got miso, and I think it's also got, just have ginger in it, wakame, and rockweed, which are two types of seaweed. And then it's got my favorite cordyceps and reishi, a la four siggy. So yeah, I rather enjoy this. It tastes just like miso soup to me, honestly. Um, okay, and then I also throw in some garlic powder in there and some fresh cracked black pepper for spice and like I said two cups of water so that will go I've got it on my slow cooker this is my kosari love you baby um yeah it's gonna be on my slow cooker on high for I in the gym for about an hour and 20 minutes and then I get out take a shower and then it is ready to ingest and tofu soup is just about done well hey guys I just finished up at the gym I got the sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen streaks down my neck um, from the sweat in there, it's steamy. I'm just sipping on a little watermelon natural calm to rehydrate. But anyways, I'm going to hop in the shower and then I'm going to have my soup. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Check the description box for the link for your first two pairs of Fabletics leggings for 24 bucks with a VIP membership. It is a good deal. Um, and that is what I wore in the gym and wear in the gym pretty much every day. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.